Zamps, given you've just been kind of playing T20 international cricket, you must feel very well prepared for this big bash season. Yeah, definitely. I think we've had a lot of white ball cricket in the in the past three months. We've gone from England to the IPL, um, and then into the last series against India. So a lot of lot of games under the belt, which is a really nice feeling. And uh, it seems like the ball is coming out as well as ever. Are you feeling that way? Yeah, I feel that way. Um, I feel like I've taken my game to, a next, to the next level, basically. Um, feel confident in where I am with my action, uh, mentally, and I feel really comfortable with everything at the crease at the moment. So hopefully I can make the most of that in the BBL. Is there any adjustment that you make going from international cricket to BBL? No, I'll just do my thing. Um, same as I've done in BBL for a long time now. I just, um, you know, as I said to you before, I'm really comfortable with, it, with where I'm at with my, with my bowling at the moment. So um, I tend to try and take on some really tough overs when I'm playing for the Stars, um, which I really enjoy. Uh, Maxi backs me into bowl power play or the death as well. So it's um, something that I thrive off um, and hopefully I'll be able to do it again this season. And how's the Stars shape, squad shaping up this season, you reckon? Um, Stars squad's going to be strong. Um, you know, we usually got a pretty strong squad, uh, but we've got some nice inclusions. I think big Billy Stanlake's a pretty big inclusion for us. I know that um, you know he's got a lot to prove. He hasn't played international cricket for a little while now, but we all know that he can do it. He's tall and he bowls fast, so he's a great inclusion. Um, a couple of really good overseas inclusions too. I think Nicholas Poran's one of the most dangerous batsmen in the world. Um, you know, he can hit all the way around the ground and really good fielder, and then you've got the Spice Man too, so he's, uh, he's injecting some fun into the team, he says. <laughs> and the dynamic just within the team, obviously you've got a long time sort of you know, spent together, and even longer in the case of, say, Stoinis and Maxwell, so how's that dynamic uh, on the road with this group, you reckon? Yeah, dynamic's good. Um, you know, we'll, as a Stars squad and as a Stars family, we always speak about how much we enjoy each other's company, and it's not fake at all. Like, we, um, we really do love this time of year, and, even rocking up today, the first day, it feels like the start of school. Um, everyone's really happy to see each other and I think, I think it'll be a breeze of the, the bubble, yeah.